Hi, buddy. Mm. Why is your face still blue? I can't get it off. <laughs> That's from your sonic. Dude, your face is blue. I that's my fault because yesterday I forgot about it. I, I took know, him to the park and I. Stained. So yeah. I use a warm washcloth. I just gotta get it better later. You're <laughs> at 10:30. That's all right. That's all right. We're going late. We're my choice too. Now it's people coming. Kids oh. coming. No, people came earlier. No kids. Kids come on Saturday. No kids are coming. Babe, how tall are you? I don't know what that means. Sounded good. We have bench press today. So you're gonna, we did it last week, we do it once a week. We're doing a strength cycle. And then you have single unders, wall ball shots, and then box jumps. And you're just gonna do bench press first, jump rope, wall balls, box jump. And let's do eight, this is 35 pounds. You did 45 pounds for 10 last week. So you should be fine. And then wait, see how your head's not on the bench? Make sure your head's on the bench. There you go. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I got you the six pound ball. There. Just keep, there you go. Okay, you got 15. One, two, three. Six more. T -t Today, Junior! Two more. Ah. One more. Good. Hill. Jump. Try to go right now and you can break after the five, okay? One. Two. Three. Four. Five, good. Now that it's getting heavy, I want you to think about this. I make you guys do these pull aparts, right? And it engages the backside of your arm. When you have the bar and you're like this, I want you to think about pulling that bar, stretching it apart. Your hands don't move, right? They're holding on, but you're actively pulling away from that bar. And then while at the same time, I want you to drive your shoulders into that bench. So now there's lots of tension in the arms and in the back, okay? Up, there we go. Right there, not down. Up, one. Up, two, that's all you. Three, okay, one more, hold on, here we go. Go, 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 go. Good job, you made it, good job. Good job, man. What are you doing? <laughs> This is 50 pounds that you just did. You did it for four, and now we have to do it again for six, okay? Okay. All right. Over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Down. One. I got you. Two. Come on. Three. Take a bit. Yeah, I got you. Three. Four. Two more. Five. No, keep going. You got one more. Come on, just keep pushing. I, I know, I know, I know. No, see with the spot, it, it works good. You're gonna wake up sore tomorrow. That's what I'm saying. That's the that's the feeling you have to get to. Is that like failure? Not doing that way again. We'll go walk over there and say bye. All right, here, come here.
Okay. <laughs> you got mad at me for uh, for making you you go hard at the end of your bench press. You guys see that when I was I was spotting you, and then you're like, I can't. But then I kept helping you up. So that is what I'm trying to get her to do is to to get those reps to failure because that's how your body changes. And I know you, you look at her body and you think that, oh, you know, she doesn't lift heavy. So that's how she looks like that. No, her she just has a, a very fast metabolism. She's been small, lean her whole life. But lifting weight and being strong is how you guys lose weight and tone up. So wasn't that bad? No, it wasn't that bad, but that's because you were helping me. If you weren't helping me, I wouldn't have been able to do that weight. Exactly, and that's, that's a spot. So when you do the bench press, always have somebody spotting so you can get yourself to those reps. Say bye, bud. Chicken. And then right now I'm going to have some steak. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so tired. I'm so I'm so tired. And you can just see it in my eyes, man. I feel it in my body, but I have so much adrenaline because another person signed up and I'm counting it, okay? She's on, she's here for two weeks. So I'm gonna count that as a member, okay? And why not? Because I spoke this into existence, 30 members in 30 days. You know, she came in, she's here, she paid. I had another guy that I told you signed up um, and I have more people coming this week. So doing really good. I'm really happy, I'm tired, but I'm, I'm hanging in there, man. I'm, we're gonna build this shit up and I promise, I promise, once we do, I will get more sleep and I will rest. But until then, we're going. Yeah. That was not hey, see you, buddy. Bye. What's up, guys? Plenty of rest last night. I feel so much better. I know last night I was a little tired, but doing good. I'm at the library right now, waiting for my son to get out of school. Even though this month is going great with new members, there's new problems that are happening, right? Like I've never had so many leads to keep track of. And with that, it's sometimes you forget. And I forgot, I would, must have been busy with a class. I don't remember how it happened, but I didn't schedule a, a no sweat intro. And the guy texted me and was like, hey, I can't make it. And luckily I was there, I was eating, just not doing anything. But it's just, that's not a good feeling when you know that you, you could have not been there for that guy showing up and then that would have been it. He never would have came back again. Now at the same time, I see cracks happening. I see the good of all of my work. I spent a good one month and I mean like hours, hours, hours writing, putting together my MailChimp uh, email system, my lead nurture, right? This is for people that don't pick up their phones at all or who come in and they just don't end up signing up. And I have also a client journey for my new members coming in. So then they're getting information. And I remember it took me so long, but I finished it. And now I'm seeing the benefits of it. I had a member give me a review and it came from his emails that he gets as part of his first 100 day journey. I had a good review posted, which just makes I don't know, made my day. I'm back home, I just ate, I cleaned. It's 1 p.m. I have to be at the gym at four. I got, I'm gonna go two straight hours of just focused work. I got my metrics, I gotta do a bunch of lead stuff, all of my lead stuff's happening. The guy's coming tonight to that class. Um, so Tuesday's my time to get to work and uh, let's, let's put it in, baby. One hour, 40 minutes, done. It took me 40 straight minutes to get hold of all my leads. <laughs> We get ready for my evening classes. I'll see you guys later. And he signed up. Um, the guy that came to the Legends class liked it and did great. Um, signed up. I'll post a little video right here of that class. It's growing. Even with um, a few people not there, it's still a full class. People are talking. You know it's a good time when you have to be like, okay, guys, come on, pay attention. Because they're starting to build that. The friendships, right? The camaraderie. They know each other. They're talking about how the diet's going. And so it went well. I got to write the workout on the board because... It's not up there. <laughs> and then I gotta go home, I gotta come in the morning. You guys know the deal. It's um, Tomorrow though, I don't have to come back and work. So I am off. Um, normally we'd go to Diablo. And I did. we did decide, I gotta talk to Craig, but um, 
October 25th is a Wednesday. One of my one of my, uh, one of my coaches got off work. You know, he's only gonna work half a day and we're gonna go together, we're gonna take the class. I'm gonna introduce all of my coaches to the people that are there. And uh, we're gonna use it as like a staff meeting. So pretty excited for that. We haven't done one in a while. You know, <sighs> Two new members just left. Intros are going good. Um, their session is going great. I have my 9 a.m. class, and then I'm off. I have my mentor meeting today. I forgot about. Hey, lad, of, of those eight, mm -hmm. you got a great smile. You got a great look. You know, you got. But bye. All right, we wrapped up mentor meeting. Done. Went great. It was so nice to see Russ. Um, I'm, it's just that I've come a long way, I've come a long way, and uh, we got a lot done. He did ask, like, if I need help, and I said no. You know, at this point, um, they've done everything they can do for me, and it's just on you. It will always come down to you, and I, I needed help in the beginning. I need somebody to help me. I did, but now I don't need help, and I told him that, um, but I still want to stay um, because I want to finish what I started. And we have a goal of taking home $10,000 a month. Um, so until I get there, he stuck with me. All right. I'm wrapping up. I just had a brand new client. Um, I have, and then I had another girl. I had another girl. A girl used to come here. She moved. Something happened, right, with her family. And then she had to move. And then she texts me. She's like, she wants to come back three days a week. And then she wants to bring her boyfriend. 11 people, if she signs up, if she signs up. 11 people, if she signs up. September, or it's October 11th right now. Hi. Wow, that's cool. Here, show, show us. Oh, it's an alligator, like that. Oh, that's cool. I made that last year. I like it. No, mommy's not home. No, mom's not home. Oh. Well, that gets to a boil. I forgot even to tell you guys um, how the diet's been going with my wife. I'm gonna pull up the picture, the before and after picture, so you guys can see. But she's so excited. She did so good for like an entire week, like really good. Like she had one cheat meal for the whole week. Um, and you can tell I had her take a picture obviously with, with her skin showing because it's a little different when you have your clothes on. I was like, just got to do it, babe. Just do it. You know, I don't have to post it ever if you don't want, but I'm glad that I did because then when I took the second picture, you can see like the ripples going out of her stomach. Her body's starting to get leaner and tighter and she was really excited for that. Chocolate banana. Daddy, look over there. By the sky, put it up there. It's pink. I know. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's little. Mom, come over here. Come on.
All right, Friday, and I got some news. I had a, a new lady come this morning at 7. She couldn't find the gym, but ended up finding it. Signed up. I have a member who moved to Nicaragua. Came, is coming back for the holidays. Signed up. So I don't know the total count. I think, um, I think it's going to be close to 13 members. We'll see. Tomorrow's Saturday. I'll give you the official number tomorrow. Friday night is wrapping up, and tonight I'm going to go see a concert with my wife. Do I know who I'm going to go see? No, I don't. I just go, I show up, and I have a good time. But I will say, normally I do a terrible job of separating work and family, right? I always bring my work with me. And so tonight's goal is to be present, to be there, to show my wife a good time, because this is something she's really excited about. And I can't, like, bring my work with me. I will say that it's a lot easier to not think about the gym when things are going good. Boom, she signed up. Very apprehensive. This was one I was telling you about that was like, convinced herself that CrossFit was too hard. I did a really good job, really good job. Um, she signed up for the eight personal training sessions for the month. Um, so we're doing good. I got clients coming now for the class. I'll see you guys later. Woody. And just like that, the weekend is over. Right now I have a few people up in the air. They might sign up, they might not. If they do, I think I'll have a total of 13 members signed up since September 28th. Spoke to all of my coaches, let them know that we're gonna have to start meet regularly um, to discuss the changes that are gonna happen when classes get full. So it's very exciting to now have this newfound stress of a full gym. Camping trip is this weekend. I still plan to take the time, even though I'm really busy. I need to take that time for myself. Part of me says no, but then more of me <laughs> says I'm gonna go. All right, thank you guys for watching the video. Please give it a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and uh, I'll see you guys next video. See you next week, peace.